to number 12. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And you too. All right, we got it. All right. Well, guys, I got my lottery ticket here. And uh, actually, before we begin, let me change the camera because this looks kind of bad. <laughs> let me let me fix the angle, guys. This is not not good. Ugh. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. But anyway, let's begin to this video. So today we're actually gonna do something very interesting. I'm gonna teach you how to win the lottery. Now, hopefully you get a lottery ticket with you. If not, go go get one and make it as big in like whatever amount you want. Like I usually, I went for a scratch of this one cause I don't play much of the lottery, but yeah, this is a, a winter special. It's $150,000 uh, scratch off. Uh, I should have gone bigger. I should have bought a Powerball or a Mega Millions because, you know, I need $300 million, man. You know, that, that, that odd of one in whatever chance. It's pretty high up there, but hey, I, apparently the odd of being born is actually quite high. So if you exist, you have already tested those kinds of odds. So good on you. Uh, but anyway, ideally you want to do this uh, by yourself. You want to sit down, put some headphones on if you're watching this and, and you have family around or something. And uh, get a piece of paper, right? Get a piece of paper because we're going to do something that is gonna like completely change your life and uh, you know it's gonna teach you how to how to make this money a reality i'm gonna show you how to how to like bring it into existence and no i'm not gonna manifest it I, ideally that would be awesome if you could just break through the simulation just craft them 150k you know uh, but I'm, I'm actually just gonna show you guys what you can do and, and how you can bring yourself into a state of mind that's gonna make all your problems disappear that's the goal of this video we want to put ourselves in a mindset where you're like okay this is my life before and here's how I'm gonna turn it now this is what I'm gonna do with my life you know so let's begin this so I uh, usually I would have a paper but I don't I have my phone because I'm in the car I would love to do this in the apartment but it's a weekend and the apartment there's people in, in you know, next to the apartment complex so they're gonna be walking around making noise so I went to the car plus I had I work today so anyway uh, here's the lottery ticket right you got it with you let's begin this uh, first thing you want to do is be in a place by yourself. Uh, I'm in the car right now. I just got done from work, so I just want to make a video. And I, I had an urge to buy a lottery ticket. I never get these. So for all I know, this is the $150,000 winning ticket. Uh, that's kind of weird, but anyway, you know, get your your lottery ticket. Uh, this is a form of meditation, by the way. Sit sit by yourself. Uh, have a, a pen or paper. Have a piece of pen and paper, right? And I, I got my phone because I don't have a piece of paper right now. But hey, you got to get your phone if you have a phone or whatever. And first thing you want to do is put the amount that you want to win. Now, uh, because this one is capped to $150,000, we're just going to put $150,000. There we go. 150K, baby. Just like that. Boom. There it is. Okay. Now, what would you do if you win this? The $150,000. Uh, well, I mean, it's $150,000, but technically you also uh, have to pay taxes and you have to. You have to pay taxes, you have to probably show your face in public, which I mean, 150K isn't that much, so not many people are gonna care about it unless you win like the Powerball or something like that. Uh, but this is, by the way, this is your amount. This is just mine because I just bought a $150,000 winning ticket. Uh, but you know, buy something like, if you have the million dollars, the 10 million, 100 million, whatever you wanna put in, in millions, put that amount in here, put it in the calculator. And now that you have that amount, think about it. What's the first thing you would do with that money? Like sit, your, sit with yourself and you say, okay, I literally just won $150,000 in my case. In your case, sit down and literally just say it. Like, just say it, guys. Just, literally, you have to say it. I just won $150,000. $150,000. You, you just won whatever amount you just won. What? Like that? You just have it? That's crazy. I know it, I sound mentally crazy right now, but hey, this is a, this is a good video because uh, you know, as as you have the money with you, you have it in your hand, you're touching it, you're touching the calculator or the pen that has the amount, and you see it. What's the first thing you would do with it? I have one hundred fifty thousand dollars, man. No, by the way, one hundred fifty thousand dollars is achievable. Uh, I didn't make it achievable on purpose. I actually just bought that random ticket. I literally went for my lucky number and that's the one that I have. So now that you have your winning lottery ticket, what would you do with it? Mm, well, first thing I would do is, well, in my case, I'm, this is actually really personal, so I don't want to say what I would do, but you know, right? How much, what, what would you do? Would you pay debts? Would you, um, you know, would you buy your family stuff? I know I would, like I literally crafted it out. The first thing I would do is, 
I would fix all my debt mistakes. I would just pay off all my debt. Like from the smallest to the largest, that debt would be completely wiped out. No more monthly payment. It's all gone forever. Forever and ever. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson, you know? Okay. The second thing that I would do is I would buy the possibility of it having like that money actually making money for me. And in my case, well, it's $150,000 only, plus I paid off debt and stuff like that. So technically, it might be maybe $110,000, but, uh, you know, $100,000, I already showed you guys the dividend effect that you should check out the video. Uh, that amount now would be income. So this lottery win would now pay me every month a certain amount just because I have it. Okay. Uh, so you have that income source now. How easy would your life now be? Like, how, how much easier is it? You're making an extra whatever amount you're making. If you if you actually have way more money than 150,000, then more. And now you have all this. Like, if you put that in a in a portfolio, you make four percent out of it. How much would that be? Obviously, you don't have to put the full amount. Just put enough that you're comfortable with. I know for most people, a million dollars in a dividend trifecta would probably yield about two, three thousand dollars a month that you never have to work for for the rest of your life. That's powerful, guys. Okay, now there you go. Now you're making three thousand dollars plus a month in in dividend income and passive income. You're not working for that money. You paid off all your debts. Uh, next thing you probably do is you would help family out. Do you have family that's, that has debt? Do you have family that you know is in a is in a struggle financially? You will become a generous giver because you, what what happened is that now you're like in the state of abundance and all your worries about you no know, not like having money all that are completely just vanished they're vanished they're gone you don't have to worry about you know I, I got bills to pay next month I gotta go to work and all this uh, is the job you're doing are you doing it because you have to or because you want to think about it if you had all that money would, would you do the job you're doing right now that's that's a serious question by the way chances are you probably won't but there's actually a few of you that might say yeah yeah I would do my job and yeah I mean right now I'm living I'm like living well, trying to live in the van I'm preparing it right now and you know in this van like I go and do my job which you know normally most people hit their job and although yeah I gotta go to work and it is it is you know draining I think I would do it periodically what I would want to do it is do it less time because most people I think what makes people hate their jobs is they actually have to do it like a lot of time if they just if you cut it in half for most people that's like horrible you know for me like the the sidekicks I can do it full time because well I'm in this van all the time but and that's one, one of my goals right I wanted to build something up but you know in your case like how many hours are you working on a job you don't like if you cut that in half would you actually enjoy your job I'd say most people say yeah probably probably a little bit more there you go okay now uh, imagine you you basically fix all your life problems so you give your family members the amount that you want to give them maybe you buy them houses maybe you buy them cars maybe you take your family on vacation I, I thought those, that's one of my goals I want to take like, my entire family on like a giant vacation uh, maybe you pay off any debts you, I paid off the the cargo van <laughs> yeah you have no car payment anymore right okay now believe it or not everything that you just wrote on that piece of paper and this is gonna take you a while so just you know do your thing Make sure if you if you're gonna invest the money, act like you already have it. You're investing the money. You're putting it into dividend trifecta. Maybe you're you're putting it in high growth stocks. Maybe you're buying a bunch of crypto. Maybe you know you wanted to you bought your dream car. You wanted a Lamborghini for some reason. You know, you bought your Lamborghini, right? You bought your mansion, your house with seven uh, rooms, four bathrooms, and you know, a nice garage. And you you only need one room and one bathroom, by the way. You don't need all that other stuff. But you have it. You can buy it. There you go. You got it, right? Now, the point of this exercise, and the reason why I made this video is because, uh, we're actually gonna scratch this by the way. I'm gonna scratch it in the end, I need to get a, I need to get a quarter. I think I, I got one right here. Okay. The point of this video is that a version of everything that you, you wanted to do already exists. Everything that you wanna do, the cars you wanted to buy, the house, uh, the, you know, helping the family, uh, quitting your job. Uh, by the way, once you quit your job, what would you do with all the time that you have? Would you, you know, gamble it on the stock market like some millionaires have done on Wall Street bet? Or would you like trying to learn a trade? Would you actually build a small business? You know, all these things that you would do a lottery, a version of it already exists, guys. You can do this.
I mean, yeah, not not to the grand scale of 150k, which I mean, it is tiny compared to probably 10 million, 15 million, right? You would, you would build a car collection, you would make like I I, I, want, I want to build like a sick car collection of like movie and like video game cars, like put a a mystery like from the Scooby Doo mystery machine, put a DeLorean, put the BMW E46 from uh, Most Wanted, uh, you know, build a put the the uh, there's so many freaking cars, man, that I want to like build. Uh, you know, but anyway, that's that's another story. Put some classics and stuff like that, right? Uh, once you have all the stuff, did you realize that the first thing that you wanted to do was you wanted to uh, pay off your debt, pay off your mistakes, right? You want to get rid of those mistakes, right? That's funny. That's funny. And the second thing you probably wanted to do was uh, you know help family out. Those two things. That's the first thing everyone does when they win the, the lottery, right? They just want to just want to have a fresh start and depending on how stuck you are you can do a fresh start if you want it by the way you don't you don't need the money to do it uh, but that's another video uh, but anyway going back to the topic right once you have all this money and you invest in it and you did whatever you wanted with it uh, you know how 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 would your income to versus expenses would be yeah probably you would be like oh I make this amount of money and I spend this amount of money I will have this leftover and what would you do with that leftover would you invest it would you donate it to charity? I mean, donated charity is kind of that's crazy. And you're very kind if you do that, but I would not donate to charity, man. I'll I'll become I'll be very generous. Like if I go to like a restaurant, I would tip like if I do like a twenty dollar order, I would tip like twenty bucks. Or if I if I buy food for my family, I'll tip the waiter just hundred bucks. You you would basically become a a bigger, more powerful, influential version of yourself. By the way, so yeah, you know, anything that you wanted to do with that money. You can, like I said, you guys can do a version of it. I, I keep saying the same thing because I suck at making videos. But you know, uh, maybe you don't need, you don't have the Lambo, but you can buy a beater for two, three thousand dollars. Maybe your hours, yeah, you you don't want to do the forty hours on that job you hate. Uh, maybe you can just actually cut it to twenty. Oh, but I have bills to pay. Okay, you have those bills to pay. Why don't you buy a smaller place to live? Uh, I mean. Look what I did. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little biased, right? But, you know, think about it really strongly. Like, what would you want to do? Because once you people get this money, they think that their life is going to be over, right? But have you looked at the horror stories from, you know, life is before. Once you think that you get these, you think your life would be, like, so good, right? But th think about the stories from people that have a multi-million dollar fortunes, guys. I've, I I have always been triggered at people that said that money doesn't buy happiness because it, it fixes a lot of problems people have, you know? But those problems, once they do exist, what's what's it for it? What, what's it for life? You know, think about it. That really, like, actually sit down and think about it. And you know, the purpose of this video is to help you give you a path. The young, the younger you do this, the better, because you no, know, over time, the more, the more older you get, the less second chances you have in life. So, you know, you have compound negatives from maybe you have to take care of family, maybe you have to take care of your kids, maybe you have car payments there maybe you have uh, a bunch of commitments and bills so you know the older you get the more harder it is to do second chances but you know in a case like this where you completely give yourself a fresh start what this will do is that it will give you a path especially if you're in stasis because maybe you want to do maybe you don't want to do an extreme version like I did I threw everything in the ground but if you want to do a, a milder version of stasis and just just want to give it a direction a goal you have the money now you just give yourself the money now that you have it, what would you do with it? Like again, just do, do, once you write it down, what would you do with it? How would you give it? Well, like what what it would do for you? What you would do with the time that it gave you? You know, once you do all that thing, you realize that this isn't what you wanted. the the money The money wasn't what you wanted. I mean, the money's nice, but you know, if you divided the monthly income and you realize that all the shit that you have that you you want to get rid of, you can't get rid of that stuff, guys. You know, you know, you the time that you have that you wasting on a job that you don't like, you can regain that time back. Do the side gigs, you know. Maybe cut your hours left. If you have more more expenses than bills, uh, the income, then you need to cut your expenses. Yo, do you have debt? Okay, you gotta have to take. You have to deal with it. It's one step at a time. Smallest to largest. Snowball it. Unless you're willing to throw your entire life away and live in a van, go go for it, man. I know. And you know, there's so many ways, but. The thing is, just having this option, just, just, it made your life easier. You could breathe for a bit, right? Uh, if you have the scratch up, this is the reason I bought the scratch up. You can buy a power goal ticket, but the reason I bought the scratch up is because I wanted to uh, actually, like, just 
you know, just as you're doing this, you're actually just saying, okay, I enjoyed my life. I did what I had to do. I, I gave myself uh, you know, a reality that it's nice. You can actually write it on a, like I said, writing on paper is the ideal. I wrote it in a note, like you literally like came up with a note and in this note, you just like scroll. I'm, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you gave yourself like a little version of everything. You put pictures of it, you marked it as you did it, marked it as you did it. And here's the funny thing, this also keeps you track of what you're doing, right? You, you're basically giving yourself a, 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 a fictional, uh, well, I won't say a, a meta version of it, but you're, you're giving yourself a paper version of what of that existence. You're, you're keeping it safe. And here's the funny thing. Once you have all the stuff, like, uh, one of the things I want to do is my portfolio, my, like, investing portfolio. Uh, don't follow these stocks, by the way. This is just my stuff. And you see how I actually managed to mark one of them. I actually marked like two or three of them. I marked two, three, four, four. I have like four marked. I've slowly built this position. Can you believe it? That is a position that I would have never like visualized if I didn't have this ticket done. You know, if I would have not played the the lottery game, right? But anyway, guys, uh, after you did all that, I'm gonna scratch this to see what we get. Uh, you should scratch your ticket right now, by the way. If you, if you take this and um, I don't know guys it was it was a dud I didn't win <laughs> dang it <laughs> oh man there you go I didn't win it that's okay though I didn't win this amount but here's the funny thing I actually got something from it. You now, for those people that have like the gambling addiction, imagine bu buying 20, 30, 50 bucks a day in lottery tickets. Like, oh my gosh, bro, what the? That's crazy, right? Uh, but anyway, I played the lottery. I didn't win anything. But from it, I got a video. From it, I got a a chart of knowing what to do, what I want to do. What would I do with all that money? Now I got a guide. I got a direction of everything that I wanted to do. For those of you that know that I like cars, like literally, I have my dream car literally like planned out from like start to the bottom like all of it just there it's already planned man it's it's already existed before it, like existence you know and yeah it's a powerful thing guys i just gave you the secret of becoming a, a lottery winner that's it that's there you go I mean, you thought you needed the amount of money but no what you wanted was the things you could get with that money so now that you got the money you did the things you wanted to do now you have a plan now you can work you can do that you can actually go and, and do it you know yeah it's gonna take a long time yet yeah, sacrifices might have to be made. I mean, in my case, like if you watch the videos, you know why I keep pointing at the cargo van, right? Uh, but all those things, guys, there are step towards that goal. And believe it or not, once you get to that goal, you think your life is going to be set and you, you know, oh, I'm set for life. No, guys, uh, the reason you see all these YouTubers, like you notice most of them are like in the top 1% of society, but they're still hustling, they're still working, is because the money wasn't the goal. The goal was something bigger, something that you can't see because you're stuck in phase one of reality you're stuck in bills and issues and lack of money you haven't seen what you wanted to do yet you haven't had the chance because you've been tied and stuck maybe you've been uh, hold held down by your parents or maybe um your life was just the, the cards weren't right you know and the funny thing is that for the first time in your life guys i gave you the steering wheel i gave you control of your life most people don't have this uh there's actually going to be a video for the for the channel in the future called the second place mindset that video, I'm still working on it because I actually want to make it a good percentile video, not something that I literally just made in a day in a car. So, you know, just just giving you guys an idea of what to do with stuff like this. You know, if you have used to have a lottery addiction, every time you play the lottery, you got to punish yourself. You got to visualize what you would do with it. And you're going to realize that you might want to do the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's because, again, you don't want the this, you don't want the the, the, the thing. You want the, the what it gives you, the direction, the path, the mindset of, okay, I got this. What do I do with it? I have this. What do I do with this? You know? <sighs> anyway, guys, I, I really hope this video came across well. Um, again, sorry for the clickbait. If you made it this long, you're literally in the 1% of my viewers. So thank you so much. I hope the video helps you out, guys. I hope it gives you direction, you know? I know it sucks to be in stasis and you think that you, you need all this money to be somebody. You really don't, guys. You just need a path, purpose, and all these dreams and visions that you have, you, you literally just wrote them up. So good for you, man. I'm cheering you on, guys. You guys are... I, you know, I, I, I think of you guys as allies. Uh, in this tough moment, I want to, like, I know that in the future there's going to be an easier life. So, it, while it's hard, man, I just want to share it. And, and hopefully it, it inspires you and gets you out of a rut if you're in a rut, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.